<laughs> well, okay. Since we're getting some advice from you, may I ask you a question, even though yes. we haven't technically enrolled in the uh, course yet? It's okay. <laughs> this is like a taster. Okay. Um, so I noticed you mentioned, I don't know if I'm supposed to mention her, but your doll bell, right? In yes. the background. Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful, wonderful doll. Yes. Don't turn my power off again. Um, but what I was going <laughs> to <Yeah>. ask, <laughs> because this comes up uh, pretty regularly and Emma and I have tried to find answers for this, but we're not, just not sure. Mm. Sometimes, uh, listeners of the podcast i i hope with good intention but will mail us random items or objects that are purportedly haunted and mm -hmm. we've gotten some really um some kind of goofy ones and then some like very seriously alarming ones like mm -hmm. items from a funeral that somebody got and or mailed like to us a vigil at like a, a vigil like a, a melted candle from a vigil of someone who was <clears throat> murdered just like really some dark heavy stuff and the, I think the the most I don't know the the the, the topper the clincher was the, this giant wooden crate we received and we opened these on video for our Patreon uh, in my old house and we have to like basically crowbar the lid off this crate and mm -hmm. it's just filled with straw and there's like this doll in it like this big doll yeah. and we lift her out of course already wary and then there's a note and by the way no return address on this thing and it says like. This doll has caused nothing but problems at our house. It's caught the barn on fire twice. My daughter sees it walking in her dreams, all this stuff. Anyway, now it's yours. And we <laughs> just every time this happens, we genuinely don't know what to do because we're like, well, we don't want to just throw it away. Like that seems like it might double the problems. I'm not but, sure. But so we also don't want it. So we don't do we, want it. Yeah. What so, do we do with it? Yeah. Call that's me. kind of the question. Call you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah. No, but you do have to clear some and everything is clearable, I must say, but do cleanse it. Don't let this I don't let a sunset before if there's a negative spirit in it. You there's mm. a million ways to do it. You could do it through your belief system, through your religion. You, I work elementally in the air and the fire, you know I'm not a big sage person, but sage of Palo Santo with salt around the thing. Um, that's actually what, so many method. my book has an easy method of cleansing on stuff, but, but they do have energies. Ha I mean, half the stuff people have sadly buy, like on eBay, how, how all of a sudden is there 900 haunted dolls? I'm say, I know, a lot we're of just talking like, about buy that. It it's haunted, no. <laughs> but there are haunted dolls and you don't want to bring something into your home. And if you're a spirit, you know, they can enter anything, but who wouldn't you, if you were a spirit, you could enter into a vase or something with eyes and a face that moves. Right. You're going to go. Makes there. sense. Um, so that actually happened with, with Belle, the same thing. Um, a, a girl in Belgium, and she did tell me before she sent it, but she had, she saw me on Ghost Adventures or one of their spinoffs, Deadly Possessions, doing mm -hmm. a seance with Belle the doll. Uh, not Belle, she's Belle. Um, Peggy the doll. A oh. more haunted darker. She's in Zach's we call her PTD. Right yeah, we call we, her PTD. She, yeah, she caused like nosebleeds and car crashes when we talked about her on our show. And, <laughs> so. and, and heart attack. The, what, what, yeah. we, we were doing the, the, the um, Zach, he didn't own her yet. The girl who they brought in, Jane, now a good friend who owned her, and the, one mm -hmm. of the girls, not very old, who had given a heart attack by the. So we're, I'm sitting there, you know, holding Peggy's hand, a little plastic hand at a seance. And it, it was crazy, but we got the girl over it. We got all this stuff. But the, this girl in Belgium had seen, she's like, well, mm -hmm. if you can handle Peggy the doll, you can handle Belle. So mm -hmm. she asked if she could send her because Pe uh, Belle had made this girl sick for three years, made her hair fall out, made her toddler sick, unless she, unless Belle was in a drawer in the shed and Belle didn't like being in a drawer in a shed. So sure. I'm like, I'll take her. Um, you must have had good when you guys open things on camera, you probably get all those box opener people. You probably got really good views. But I, I had never even done like a Facebook Live with this one. Sure. I've never done one. I was just I'm supposed to Facebook Live this. Um, and I have good followers, but not that kind of 50,000 people watched me open this. And it wasn't <gasps> me or my energy or my people. It was Bell. I mean, pay, I, yeah. I'm sorry, oh. I'm confusing you. She's gonna be so mad at me. Oh, Watch my no, lights go out. Not. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. um, but anyway, so and, and it was crazy, and she had such a dark spirit. So I I got rid of that dark spirit. I don't want my I don't have enough hair to fall out, but <laughs> with, got rid of the dark bad spirit, but immediately there there was this little girl spirit. But it was it was a positive spirit, but still she drained energy. I had to keep the herb rue. I work with a lot of herbs and in her little plastic hand and little Dixie cups all around, so she didn't just drain everybody's energy. 
into wow, the room. Wow. And now she doesn't, but she, and now she's a part of the family. If we're upstairs, we hear her running around downstairs when the dog and cat are with us. And oh, great. No. people see her move on camera, but, oh my gosh. but you can't keep negative spirits. I, I had How one cleanse that like what do you do like i mean well, i'm sure if i read if you're uh, moonlight if sunlight okay uh, a smudging of some kind doing it i work with crystals work with salt sure. work with um water florida water holy water if that's mm -hmm. your belief system um i had one piece that i couldn't do um it was again given to me by a person like you guys get stuff and it was this cute little new orleans looking voodoo-y thing and it was fine because i know what i'm doing my house is protected sure ah. so all of a sudden i was like but why am i not hanging around my office i just can't stay in my office i'd bring my laptop oh. upstairs like, and i'm looking around it's not all my hundreds of barbie dolls it's like oh it's that thing so I literally did call Zach. I go, Zach, I have this thing. I don't want it. Do you want it? He goes, what does it look like? And I sent him a picture. He goes, ooh, it's a fetish, Dale head of fetish hate God. Yeah, I want it. So I <laughs> took it there, handed it to him, and it started acting up that night in a nice, safe place in the museum where it's allowed. There you, know, you go. Guard. It's welcome. Like, right. Yours, not mine. You right. Because as, as fun as everybody wants a haunted doll, haunted dolls with a good energy are great. But bad energy is not good it can make no. give you illness and sickness and yeah. your hair fall out and yeah.